Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will be drawing an oriental dragon. We begin with the body making an S sort of shape and then a curl, like so. Remember that oriental dragons are more snake-like and less like a lizard. So we continue with the bottom of it twisting again. And a little fluff of hair at the end of the tail. I correct some of the lines so that they look better, more even. And then let's draw the head the snout, the eyes, and some texture. And now, let's draw the hands. Oriental dragons have the body similar to a snake, except that they have four legs, or two hands and two legs, like an eagle's claws. And on this one, on the right one, let's draw the dragon's pearl, that shiny ball that sometimes they have in their hands or that they are chasing. Or they may also have it in their mouth. And I will tell you a nice Chinese story about that in a little bit. Pearls are very precious and they are a symbol of wisdom. And as you probably know, the dragon is also a symbol of wisdom. So it is proper that it has the pearl. But the pearl also represents the sun, the holy sun. And since it is also in the shape of an egg, it represents life. So it may have different meanings, depending also what region the dragon is from. Let's draw the scales on his back and then give some light to the ball and add some color to it. I think this will be the only object I will use color for, other than the bluish that I'm using for the dragon, and some black for the claws and for some of the darkest shadows. I'm drawing on light blue cardboard paper. The list of materials, as usual, is in the information below the video. There are, of course, many differences between oriental, that is, eastern, and western dragons. Not only physical, as we mentioned, but also in their meaning and personality. While in the west, dragons are usually evil and something to be afraid of, as they bring destruction, in the East, dragons are an omen of good fortune. They have good powers, particularly the control of water and rainfall. And as the survival of people generally depended on their crops, the rain was very welcome, and therefore also the dragon. There is a nice old tale that says that near the river Min in China, there lived a woman and her son. They were good people, but very poor. Every day, the boy hiked into the countryside to cut grass, and he sold this to the villagers as fodder or fuel. With his small earnings, mother and son managed to survive. But one year, a terrible drought struck the land. Life became even harder for the family. The boy could not find any more green grass. After a while, the mother became ill from hunger. One day, he was walking by a dry riverbed when he found the brightest and greenest grass he had ever seen. He cut it and sold it well, being able to feed her mom properly. Next day, he went back and found that the grass had grown beautifully again. After a few days of this repeating, he found a bright, beautiful, shiny, pinkish pearl under the grass. He brought it to his mom, who got amazed by its beauty, and placed it in an empty rice jar. Next morning, the jar was full of rice. This is a miracle, said the mother, and they ate happily. That night, they placed it in a money box, and by next morning, it was overflowing with coins. They became abundant and shared their wealth with other people. But two jealous neighbors came into their home to steal the pearl. To protect it, the boy put it in his mouth, and when pushed by the man, he swallowed it. 
He felt a burning feeling and drank all the water in the house and then all the water of the river. There was a thunder and rain poured down. The villagers were so happy because the drought ended. But the boy started to grow and scales filled his back. The woman cried as she watched her son turn into a dragon. Then he walked into the overflowing river. The boy turned around and looked at his mother. But he knew he would not change back. And he became the guardian of the river. Farewell, my son, she called. Guard the river well. And he did. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. Let me know if you would like me to tell you more stories in some of the tutorials. Share it with your friends and subscribe to Fine Art Tips. And I will see you on Tuesday.